Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about participatory mapping with Google Forms, Google Sheets, and ArcGIS Online. I've been receiving questions from schools and universities that have become used to working with the Google platform, and also individual researchers who want to use Google Sheets in ArcGIS Online. What are the advantages of using Google Sheets or Google Drive? Spreadsheets really is what they are over using an Excel spreadsheet that's on your local dr drive. Well, Google Sheets live in the cloud, just like ArcGIS Online does. So Google Sheets can be edited from any device, anywhere, and the author of the sheet can invite others to add data to it so that they can accept input from multiple collaborators, students, and faculty. Some educators want to map data that they have input into Google Sheets. Others want to go to the next level where multiple students or researchers edit Google Sheets in a participatory mapping or citizen science environment. And the resulting data is mapped and automatically refreshes as the data continues to be added. So real citizen science mapping is what we're talking about here, people. Both of these scenarios are possible with ArcGIS Online, www.arcgis.com. To illustrate, I have created a form where students are asked, what country have you visited? After students fill out the form, I go to the Responses zone in Google Forms and access the spreadsheet that is created from the data. Now that my data is in my Google Sheet, I access File, Publish to Web, and change Web Page to Comma Separated Value, or CSV file, then Publish. Then, I copy that resulting URL from my published map. Then, I access my ArcGIS Online account, open a new or existing map, add, add layer from web, and point to my CSV file. I paste my URL from my Google Sheet right in that box. Next, I add layer, and I indicate which field contains my location information address, latitude, longitude, city, state, country combination, any of those will work as long as it has a location component. And folks, that's really all there is to it. My results are in this map here. Note that I used one of the fun new base maps in ArcGIS Online that I wrote about here. In another example, this time using cities instead of countries, see this map of the 10 most polluted and 10 least polluted large cities of the world. Now, as you know, in this video, I'm all about being critical of the data. Know who created this top 10 list. Where did they get the data from? Can you trust it? Is it updated, etc.? So be critical of the data in this online web mapping world that we're in. No different here with this 10 least and most polluted cities. Students examine spatial patterns for the pollution or the lack of it in each city using the map and the metadata here. I never metadata I didn't like. Little geo pun for you. But the metadata is the data that describes the data. I created this map by populating this Google Sheet shown here. My students could add 10 or 20 more to this sheet and their changes would be reflected in my ArcGIS online map. Here's the map from the data. For those explanatory labels that you see, I use this custom label expression shown here where feature city plus is the number plus feature rank plus the feature variable. And I set the text color to match the point symbol color for clarity. For more about expressions, see my essay here. In another example, my colleague created this Google Sheet of some schools in India by latitude and longitude. Then, she added the published content from Google to her map. Let's explore a bit deeper. Let's say I wanted to visualize the most commonly visited countries around, among my students. I can certainly examine the statistics from my Google form as seen here. However, my goal is really to see this data on a map. Do some spatial analysis. With the analysis tools in ArcGIS Online, this too is quickly done. The Aggregate Points tool will summarize points in polygons. For my polygons, I added a generalized world countries map layer. 
And then I use the aggregate points tool to summarize my point data within those countries. The result is shown here and is visible as a layer in the map I referenced here. Another point worth noting, get it, point, <laughs> little geo pun there, point worth noting is that you can adjust the settings of how your map interacts with your Google Sheet. Go to the layer's metadata page and under published content and settings, select automatically republish when changes are made. You can set the refresh interval to, for example, one minute, but the actual refresh on your map may take somewhat longer because Google's auto republish isn't quite real time. Then do the following for the layer. See this picture here. Note that if you are geocoding by address, such as city, country, as I did here, or street address, the automatic refresh option is actually not available. To get around this challenge, I manually added the latitude longitude values to my city spreadsheet. Thanks to the measure tool in ArcGIS Online, this took less than one minute per city. I simply typed in the city name in ArcGIS Online and used the location button under the measure tools, clicked on the map where the city was located, and then entered the resulting coordinates into my spreadsheet. So basically I'm populating the spreadsheet based on where that city appears on the map. Thanks!